Hey everyone. Welcome back to Pop Draw. Today we're going to be drawing the winner of this week's voting, Spider Ham, based on the Funko Pop design. So I'm going to start here by drawing a circle, kind of like in the middle of our page. And then I'm going to go on the right side of that circle, and I'm going to draw a line outward that kind of curves. It's going to start curving upward here. It's going to curve around here, and then it's going to stop about right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing over on the left side. And now we're going to go back over to the right side, and we're going to bring this line up further. It's going to start curving at the top here. It's going to curve even more, and then kind of flatten out about right there. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left side. So we'll bring that line up, curve it around, and then we'll connect those two together. And now I'm going to go over on the right side, and I'm going to draw a line that comes up right here. And then that line is going to come down kind of diagonally. And then it's going to come down again and kind of curve around and stop about right there. And then we'll draw one tiny line right there. And then we'll go over on the left side, and we'll draw a line that comes up. And then... We'll draw a diagonal line there, and then we'll draw a curved line around that stops about right here, and then a tiny little line right there. And then we'll come back to where we drew this circle here, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line right here, and diagonal line right here, and then we'll draw a curved line right there. And a curved line right there. And then we're going to kind of thicken up these lines. So we'll kind of outline them to make them a bit thicker. And then once we have that, I'm going to draw a line above that circle right here. And another line right here. And then I'm going to draw a curved line curved up and stops about right there. And then we'll curve that line downward and connect it to the nose about right there. And we'll do the same thing over on the left side. So we'll curve that line upward and then curve it back down. And then we're going to draw another layer inside that. So we'll draw two lines on each side right there. And then we'll curve that line upward. It's going to stop about right there. And then it's going to curve down. And we'll do the same thing over on the right side. Draw that line up and then curve it back down. And now we're going to come over to the right side of the head here, and I'm going to draw a line that comes out and kind of curves around right there. And I'll do the same thing on the left side. And then on the ends of those lines, we're going to bring it out. And then we're going to draw a couple of like hook shapes that kind of curve around for his fingers. We'll do that on both sides. And then for his thumbs, we'll draw a curved line that comes up right here. And a curved line right here, too. And then we'll bring those lines kind of inward a little bit and then come back outward. And then we're going to bring those lines down diagonally on both sides. And then, now I'm going to come by this hand right here, and I'm going to draw a curved line right there. 
and I'll draw a curved line right here on this side. And then I'll draw another curved line. We'll bring it out right here on the right side. And bring that line out on this side as well. And then I'm going to bring that inward. And bring this line inward. And then on each side we're going to draw a line that goes straight up. And where those two are almost meeting, we're going to draw a curved line right there. And we'll draw another curved line above that. And then down here where we drew these feet, we're going to draw one more toe. It's a curved line right here. Straight line that comes out and then curves up. And then we're going to draw two lines on each side right here. And then down by these fingers, I'm going to draw a line that goes diagonally down. And then I'm going to bring it up towards the nose. And we'll do the same thing over on the right side. We'll draw that line that goes diagonal down. And then bring it back up towards the nose. And then Right where it comes up by the nose, we're going to draw a line that comes out and curves around. And then it's going to stop about right there. We'll draw a line right there. And then on this side, we'll do the same thing. So we'll draw that line that kind of follows the arm here. It comes around and draw a line right there where it stops. And so now we're going to go in the middle of the chest here and we're going to draw kind of an oval shape and we'll kind of fill that in. And then we'll draw a smaller oval shape on the top of that. And then a circle at the very top. And then we're going to draw a line that goes out right there and then up. And then we'll draw another one of those right there. These are going to be like the legs of the spider symbol on his chest. So. Then we'll draw another line that goes out and bring that up. And then we'll do another one that goes out and bring that up. And then for the bottom ones, we're going to draw two more right here. And then two more here and here. And so now what we need to do is do the web pattern on them. So we're going to come up and in between where we drew his eyes here, we're going to draw a shape that has like kind of three points on it. And then we're going to draw a line that goes straight up from the middle here. And then on the right side, this one's going to have a curved line that kind of comes up and it's going to curve inward right there. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left side. And then we're going to draw two more, one right here and one right here. And then on the sides of the eyes, we'll draw one here and one here. And then we'll draw one right here and one right here. And then we'll do two more, one that comes off the nose and another one that comes off the nose on this side. And then on each of these, we're going to do kind of a line that dips inward and we're going to continue that across this whole way here and we'll do another one of those a little bit above that and then one more up at the top here And then we'll draw one at the bottom. And then we're going to switch over to our thin tip Sharpie. because We're going to do some web patterning on his suit here. So these ones are going to be a little bit smaller. So we're going to start by drawing a line that goes from the bottom of the spider symbol that goes straight down. 
and we're going to continue that on the top of the spider symbol. And then we'll draw one more that connects to this leg, and then another one that connects to this leg. And then this one on the end is going to come up and connect at the top. And we'll do some on this side. So this one's going to kind of connect to this leg. And we'll continue all of these on the top. One more here that comes from this leg and comes up at the top here. And then one at the end of this here. And then one at the end here. And we'll draw one more right here and one more right here. And then in between all those, we're going to do that. A dip pattern. This one time it's going to come up and dip at the top instead of at the bottom. So we'll do this all along the bottom layer here. And then we're going to go up a little bit more and do another layer. And then one more layer right by where the spider is. And then we'll come up to the top here and do a layer. And we'll do layers on the sides here. We'll draw two more curved lines. And so that finishes the drawing and we'll come back to you once we finish coloring. guys that's gonna do it for this video thank you to vincent marino for suggesting spider ham don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what you want us to draw next thanks for watching